we're gonna see how it goes. And I'm just, I'm trying to remember to enjoy it. When I feel my anxiety, when I feel my stress getting too high, I take a deep breath and no matter how many books I publish, I'll never publish my first book again. I will never ever publish my first book again. This is a once in a lifetime thing that happens right now. This is a once in a lifetime experience, once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm here for it. I, it's, it's tough though. I'm asking for a lot of help from a lot of people. I really want to be a New York Times bestselling author. That's the goal. And I know what that means in terms of sales. That's somewhere between 10 to 15,000 books sold this year. And preferably before the book even comes out. I've got maybe 4,000 people in my total network. Yeah, maybe a little bit more than that now. Maybe like 6,000. I got a lot of work to do, guys. And I'm just, I'm preserving this for some reason. I just feel like there are parts of this journey where I have stopped and taken a video and... This is one of them. This is January of the year that my book comes out. I've never been so acutely aware of a new year, of one year passing and a year coming. I've never been so aware of it because I know what this year, I've been looking forward to this year for two years since I signed the contract for my book. 